So tell me about the Green Party's policies on mental health and your thoughts on it. Yeah, um, you know, mental health uh, probably represents 28, nearly 30% of all the illness within society. We already know that, you know, one in five of us will have a mental health episode. And yet it only attracts about 13% of NHS funding. And some of the um, conditions and rules that have been set in terms of access to treatment, in terms of time before treatment, in other areas have not been applied to mental health. So I think, you know, a, a Green Party in government or a Green Party that has a say in government would want to see the proportion of spending in the NHS on mental health services rise. We would want to make sure that those in need get quicker access to support. And that has a crossover in terms of addiction because we know that there's that quite clear correlation between those with uh, drug and alcohol misuse and addiction and mental health episodes. So it's about trying to make sure that you give the treatment and you give support at the right time. You don't allow things to get so far gone down the road that recovery time is extended and the cost of treatment is increased. And I think, you know, for me, it's also about things such as um, how we treat people with mental health needs within the criminal justice system. There's too many people with mental health needs locked up unnecessarily. There's too many people who find it too difficult to access a service. And um, we've got to start talking about mental health in a more grown up atmosphere. And we've got to start realising that investment in mental health will save us billions further down the road in terms of a very expensive treatment if we allow people's mental state to deteriorate um, to the point at which it is life threatening and um, uh, you know really risks uh, them not being able to cope and not being able to live in this world and, and that's what we're talking about you know mental health is a killer and any other um, health need that kills you is taken far more seriously and treated and uh, more resources are made available and, and that's why you know, the, the Green Party are very serious about ensuring that we rebalance some of that finance and rebalance some of that attention onto those um, not just suffering from mental health but at risk of a mental health episode. Looking at, you know, for instance, um, young mothers, the number of mental health episodes there are post childbirth, how can we make sure those are prevented? Looking at vulnerable groups such as those coming out of the armed forces. Um, we know that that uh, often leads to mental health episodes. And we just let these things happen. We shouldn't. Early intervention, more money, more finance, more joined up thinking. Um, and it's got to stop being a Cinderella service and we've got to take it seriously. I mean, it seems we know so much more about mental health these days. And yet all we've had is, as far as I can tell, cuts to services and probably we'll just get more cuts yeah I mean you know we, we know so much more yet we do so much less it, it, that, that doesn't tie in somewhere and and I think um, I think governments get away with cutting the service because they hide behind um, this well we just we don't want to lock people away we want to have more care in the community and and because of that I think it enables them to degrade the service uh, whilst pretending that they're uh, offering an alternative and they're not. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference to me if treatment is within a hospital setting or if it's in the community as long as the treatment is appropriate. And um, you know, you wouldn't treat somebody with a broken leg on the side of the road. You take them to hospital and let them recuperate. And yet so often we've got people with quite serious mental health needs who we keep in the community because there are no facilities available that would give them security and safety within um, a hospital setting. And we, you know, we've got to tackle that. We've got to be brave enough to say that at times 
uh, there will be a need for hospitalisation and at times treatment needs to be um, far more concentrated and direct than it currently is.